So when you plant a new tree, often you need to stake it, especially depending on the size of the tree and how small the root ball is. If you've watched my other IGTVs, I did a video on planting this tree, which is a peach tree. And it's a pretty small tree to start with. And as you can see, especially living out in the country, it's already leaning. There's no root structure to actually hold it in. That's what roots can do. As they grow laterally into the ground, they become anchors for the tree and really help it withstand the wind. So in that first year or two, there's nothing there to really hold it. And as you can see, it's just gonna flop around. And in major windstorms, it would lay over, come out of the ground, which that back and forth is not good for the roots. So we are staking the tree. It's one of those things I think everyone needs to know because I think everyone should be planting a tree. Plant a tree like at least every year. You just can't go wrong. So I have my T posts. You can either get T posts because look, the end of it looks like a T or they're called U posts and they look like a U. Either one's gonna work. You can get them at most hardware stores. And then I also need a couple tree straps. They're just more of a nylon strap and you want this because they won't damage the tree and then some wire or natural twine. So I'm gonna put in this other post, the opposite side of this one. I kinda of like to put the posts where you're kinda of gonna get the wind whip. And as you can see, this is already leaning this way. So you can see the post on each side of it, this direction is really gonna help. You can see that this crossbar section that's going down to the ground, that really helps anchor the post and give it a really good firm stand. So that's why we're doing that. I don't like to go too much more than a foot and a half away from the tree trunk. If you go too far, the tree could still hit the posts, especially if it's tall on top, and then it could damage the trunk. So you want it close enough so that when it's tied up, it doesn't have too much wiggle room. Tree straps are great because this is what's gonna go against the tree. It's not gonna hurt it. If you just put metal or even twine against the tree, it can be a little bit too abrasive. Cut into the tree, eventually damage the tree. Could be the death of the tree. And after you go to plant a tree, nobody wants to kill it, right? What I like about this wire is it's really easy to work with, but then also once you have it going around the post, you can just get it tied off really easily. So at first I kind of give it a little bit wiggle room on this side and then I'll go to the other side just so I can kind of see what's going to make sure that it's straight and level. I usually try to keep these on for the first couple years and then what I always do to check it, if you want to know if your tree is ready to not be staked, is when you go up to the tree, when you wiggle it, if the ground, if its roots aren't moving and shaking the ground right around it, you know that it's starting to take hold and that it probably could come off. So you wanna look at it from all sides. I would say actually that's pretty straight. The top of it is starting to curve slightly, but that should straighten also as it grows. So then what I'm gonna do is just make sure that my wire is nice and tight. I'm gonna twist around a couple times and then just do some twist ties on it here. That's why I like wire. You don't have to worry about knotting it. So it's easier to do, especially if you're doing this by yourself. Then I'm gonna go over here and make sure this side is tight. You can kind of now double check yourself, which is nice too. So I'm gonna go around and around. That wire makes it super easy. If you do natural twine, instead of wire, you'll probably have to redo it about once a year because it just deteriorates because it's a natural product. This wire I reuse usually too, so it lasts quite a while. This tree, it's now staked. As you can see, it's a few minutes and this is really gonna help the life of your tree. It's gonna give it a straight area to grow in, which is what you want. Now it's gonna have a really firm footing and not wanna sway in the wind or start growing off crooked. That's no good and it's not gonna get damaged in the wind because it's held up really well. So a few of these little simple measures really help a tree have a good standing in the beginning. I hope this helps, I hope you enjoy it. I love showing you these things, so share them around, tag people in them. I love to see your interaction and how you're using these items in your own garden. I have more trees to stake because as you can see, this orchard isn't quite all done. So I'm gonna keep staking. 
you go get some trees and then stake them. We're just gonna plant trees and stake trees. I think that's what we all should do.